Hey booktube, Lynette here and I thought I would start recording my wrap up for September for you. Um, I thought I'd try and do them as a bit of a, a vlog style wrap up rather than um, waiting to the end of the month to tell you about them. I thought that I would give it a go. Um, in, I know we're nearing the end of the month now, it is very near the end of the month now, it's something like September the 21st um, and I've read four books I think so far this year five books maybe and I thought that before I get to the end of the month and forget all about them that I would start recording now and then maybe I can add um, if I read any more books between now and the end of the month maybe I can add to them add to this video as I go uh, so without further ado let's talk about the books that I've read so far this month the first book that I finished this month is uh, the fourth book in a series um, by an author called Jennifer Blackstream. The um, series is called the Blood Print series and it's a romantic series. Um, it's a, a fantasy romance. Um, the premise is that there are these five princes that have been drawn to a tree um, in which an, an entity is encased in the tree and the entity is trying to help them without them knowing find their happy ever afters because by finding their happy ever afters she will then be released from the tree um, from what I can gather she isn't an evil entity it is an entity that should be out in the world at large um, so this is book four I read the first three books earlier on this year and really really enjoyed them they are fairy tale retellings as well and this one uh, divine scales is the fourth one this one is based around the story of the Little Mermaid and our main characters are Marcella, who is the mermaid, and Prince Patricio, who is our prince, who needs to find his happy ever after because he's in a bit of a, he's not in a great way, he's a bit of a grumpy man, um, he's not happy, uh, he's also an angel and he has a responsibility to take the souls of those who are evil cleanse them before they can be reborn and this is how he and Marcella meet uh, Marcella sees him killing her brother and fortunately there is a curse placed on Patricio which means that everyone who um, he meets whose family member he's taken their soul then they will actually fall in love with him um, and be eternally grateful to him regardless of the fact that he's actually just killed one of their family members uh, obviously Marcella falls under his spell and the story takes off from there because as a result of the spell this is where the little mermaid um, telling comes in she then decides that she wants to meet him uh, for good and she goes to the sea witch and she has her legs given to her um, Whereas in The Little Mermaid, on that we all know and love, um, her voice is taken away completely. She can't even speak. In this one, Marcella can speak. She just can't sing. Um, and then the story is, obviously, there is uh, uh, someone who's going to cause some friction for them, cause some problems. Obviously, there's going to be an amount of distrust because of the curse that's placed on Patricio. And it's their love story and how they overcome all those different things and also how Patricio overcomes how he views himself because he's he's not happy um, either. Um, um, the second book that I finished was actually a proper paper and ink book so no picture on the screen here um, and that one is The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This is the first book in a 14 book series uh, that takes place in a fictional world um, the I can't remember the actual name of the world now uh, but this is the story of Rand, Matt, Perrin, Nineveh and Egwene um, who are all in a little town called Emmons Field and their town is attacked by a group of hideous creatures called Trollocs um, specifically uh, Matt, Perrin and Rand are uh, victimized in this attack uh, they're singled out in this attack and there is um, a character called Moraine who's come to the town she's uh, 
and Aes Sedai, which are good magic. Um, they they can um, perform magical magical things that they have magical powers. Um, I'm, I've read the series. I read the fir- read the first eight books in the series a long time ago, and I don't really remember very much about it. So I'm reintroducing myself to the world. So I'm sorry if I'm a bit vague on details. Uh, but yes, as a result, um, the five have to leave Emmonsfield and travel across the world um, where they are trying to travel to a place of safety with the Aes Sedai and also with her warder, Lan. And it's basically, it's a travelling book. Um, so you have the big attack at the beginning of the book where they are attacked and they um, find out that they've been singled out. And then um, they then leave Emmonsfield, they get separated along the way and it's about what happens to them in their journey and when they finally meet up and then there's another big battle at the end. Uh, So that was pretty much that story. Um, I really enjoyed it, gave this one, um, oh I forgot to say Divine Scales, I gave three stars. Um, I also gave The Eye of the World three stars. Um, I liked it, I got a bit bored in the middle. Uh, but once I pushed through that, I got to the end quite quickly and thoroughly enjoyed it and do want to move on to book two. I actually have books one through five um, because I did enjoy the books the first time around when I read them. I just got a bit stuck in the middle of the series because I was reading them as Robert Jordan was releasing them at that time. So, yeah, I'm hoping now that the series is complete that I will actually be able to get through the whole series and complete the work the lot um so i've got book two ready to go but i'm not going to be reading it if you've seen my september tbr then you'll know that there's three other books i want to read before i pick up the next book in this series so that was the second book that i read this month um the third book that i've read is a short story and that's called control by Kay bromberg again this is a romance novel and it is um in the series of 1001 Dark Nights that was started some years ago. Um, I've only read um, novellas by authors I like, but the 1001 Dark Nights has novellas from a whole range of authors set in their worlds that they want to um, expand on a little bit. Control is based in Kay Bromberg's Everyday Heroes series of standalones, and it's about a the best friend of the heroine in the first of her everyday heroes, um, Desi, and she has met a man um, through self-defence lessons who she also finds out has moved in next door to her and they become friends and there's obviously a massive spark between them and they then become lovers. He is only in town for a short period of time while he's getting over something that happened to him. And she's also on the alert because before this guy came to town, she woke up to find a strange man um, standing over her while she was asleep. So she then... um, Say hi, Patch. Uh, She then um, um, obviously is then afraid and the reason she meets is because she's taking self-defence classes which her neighbour is teaching obviously it's got a happy ever after happy ending Um, they fall in love uh, but it's also about the friction um, between them obviously she neither of them are committed very good at relationships and it's about them learning how to be in a relationship together I gave Control uh, four stars. Um, I really do like Kay Bromberg's writing and um, I do read everything she puts out. So the last book that I've read so far this month is called Faking It. Again, it's by Kay Bromberg and this is about Zane and Harlow. Harlow is on her way to a, an interview, a job interview Uh, when she's accosted by Zane, who mistakes her for his dog walker that he's booked um, while he does some work. And uh, it's, they have a pretty tense first meeting um, because of the misunderstanding, uh, because Zane doesn't give Harlow a chance to explain that she isn't who he thinks she is. And then as a result of that, um, 
there's further meetings and it ends up with them faking the fact that they're in a relationship and they have to travel all around America to promote a dating site pretending that they've met on the dating site and that they've fallen in love. Uh, so as you can see, as you can tell, there's some, um, some embarrassing moments on both sides and then there's some sweet moments on both sides and um, you get to obviously know how they fall in love. Unfortunately, this book, I've only given it four stars. I didn't feel it was quite up to Miss Bromberg's high standard uh, because she does write very, very well. I felt that this book and uh, like Control before it was more tell than show the relationship. So we just got snippets of what happens on the road and you got to see little bits that would make you see, oh yes, I can see why you're falling for him. And I can see why you're falling for her, but you didn't really get the feeling of them falling in love. That being said, it's very well written. I completely enjoyed it. And uh, Miss Bromberg actually has another book due out in a few days time. And I will certainly be downloading that one and reading that one because that is the second book in a duology. And there was a massive cliffhanger at the end of the last book. So really looking forward to that. Um, so that's what I've read so far. Uh, hopefully I'm going to finish uh, two if not three more books um, this month. Unfortunately I'm probably only going to finish one of the three that I set out to read in my TBR uh, because I'm finding it slow going with the other two. Um, but like I say I do have a couple of romance novels. That I, the one has actually just come out this week, past week and another, the, another one is due out this coming week. And I do really want to pick those up and read them fairly quickly. So it's highly likely if I get through uh, the book that I'm reading at the moment that I will move on to at least one of those, if not both, before the end of the month. So I will hopefully speak to you all again very soon. Bye. Hi, I'm here to record the next segment of my wrap up for September. I have finished one more book and I've decided to uh, DNF a book um, so I thought I would tell you about those two. The one that I'll go with the DNF first and the one that I've decided to DNF is The Queens of Innes Lear by Tessa Grattan. I really really wanted to read this but it's just so slow going I just I just can't get into it. Um, I haven't really made a lot of progress since I filmed my TBR um, so I'm really sorry but this one's going on the DNF pile and it's unlikely to ever come off um, so yeah um, it's a good idea uh, it's fantasy there's magic that's been uh, suppressed um, there's a young woman who's been um, exiled from her country and she seems to be the key to fixing what's wrong with this world and yeah it just I'm almost halfway through and all that's happened is that the young girl's been exiled and you know that there's this whole plot to undermine what's going on and that the king's life is in danger and the young woman's sisters want to share the throne but there's not really been much progression from that and it's just so slow going so yeah um very sad to dnf that one um because i really wanted to enjoy it but i just can't get into it so oh so done dnf'd <clears throat> And then yesterday evening, um, while I was at my mum's, I actually finished a, another book. And that was another one off my TBR for the month. So, this is Murder Mile by Linda LaPlante. Unfortunately, I've only given this book three stars. And I say unfortunately because it's three stars because I didn't enjoy it as much as I feel I should have. The plot is really well written. Um, it keeps it moves really well, keeps you reading. Uh, you really want to to get to the end. You want to know who the killer is, but there's just something about it that, well, the dialogue 
the dialogue is excellent um, in this and there's whole sections which are mostly dialogue that are really well written and you get gripped but then the rest of it um, this is actually a prequel to uh, a TV series that Linda LaPlante wrote um, called uh, Prime Suspect and the rest of the book all the descriptive sections in the book read to me like someone has written a screenplay dialogue is brilliant but then they wanted to turn it into a book so they've just tried to flesh out the screen directions um in between and it just it read so badly in between that i just kept being pulled out of it it took me a week to read this it's a short book it's 365 pages i can read a 365 page book in about four hours well this still only took me five hours but this took me an hour, hour and a half longer than it normally would have done. It, yes. So while I do recommend it for the plot, just be aware that the writing style of the descriptive sections are not as good as the dialogue sections of the book. Um, so yeah, so three stars. And this is probably going to be my final book of September. It's Saturday the 28th of September. Um and I've actually, uh, I do have two more books that I want to start, but I've got a lot of house cleaning to do uh, this afternoon and then I'm out this evening and then I've got um, plans for tomorrow as well. So I'm not going to be able to sit down and read as much as I normally would. So I'm probably not going to finish any more books in September. So overall it was it was a bit of a mixed bag this month i think um i had some really good reads um had some lovely light reading with the romance novels that i started at the beginning of the month um and also reading one of my favorite romance authors books uh restarting the wheel of time series which i haven't read for so long and i did enjoy that one um to obviously the last couple of books in the month not being as good as I really felt they could have been. So that was September and I will see you all again next month.